Hi, it's Miss Emily with the Dickinson County Library. Welcome to another Tween Tuesday. Today we are going to paint with toothpicks and what you're going to need is some regular school glue toothpicks. I have some wooden shapes here. You're going to want something to put them on because when you pour the paint it might spill. And then I have various colors of fluorescent paint. This is optional but I have a black light. I picked fluorescent paint because when you turn off the regular lights and then you turn on a black light with the fluorescence, they glow, which is really, really fun. And you'll notice the brighter the colors are, the more glowing that they do, but um, just kind of interesting. So what you're going to do to begin is you're going to take your shape and you wanna take the glue. If you notice on my samples, it looks like there's marbling. This is where the glue comes in. So the more glue you put on your shape, the more marbling will happen later. So just a little bit will go a long way if you're interested. The other thing you want to make sure you do is you want to shake up your paint so that it's not too thin. And you can put it on however you like. I usually put dots in various spots. And if you want to do patterns, that's fine. But you're going to swirl everything around with the toothpick probably anyways. I'm going to choose three colors. So... Uh, we'll put in some yellow. A little goes a long way. Some of these will um, pour really fast, so be aware of that. And we'll put a little pink on there as well. And like I said, this is why it's going to be good to have a paper because definitely it's going to leak a little bit onto that paper, but that's okay. A little bit of mess is always fun. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take your toothpick and you start pulling it through to make those combinations and make it kind of meld together. You want to cover your wooden piece as much as you can. The more that you swirl around, just be aware that it will blend together. So if you really, if you like those swirls, don't go overboard. Like I said, a little goes a long way. These do take a while to dry. So that's the other thing. Uh, it will take an overnight. And when you're all done, if you have a spray, you can uh, do a sealer on there and that's gonna make it stay nice and not get too sticky because otherwise if you leave it just with the paint it's going to get sticky so it's just that simple um, go ahead and use whatever color combinations you want and um, like i said you can see when it's wet it's really bright too um, but it's just a lot of fun and very simple and i hope you have fun making these